Today we're going to talk about speeding up render time in Sony Vegas. So an issue that I've went through is that I'll produce a video on Sony Vegas and it takes forever to render. I'm going to bring in a sample clip. Now my sample clip is this right here. It's a one gig capture from Camtasia Studio. Now the interesting thing about this is Camtasia Studio captures the file as a one gig AVI and Camtasia Studio outputs the file as a 6.6 .6 meg mp4 so I went through a lot of experimentation as you can see here to find out exactly what the settings on Camtasia Studio are one of the the um, files actually the output from it from Camtasia Studio that we're looking at here we see that it captured in 1080p and an uh, interesting thing here is we see that it puts the video quality out at 50 percent and another biggie that I caught on to was that Camtasia Studio encodes the audio at 56 kbps now keep the video quality in mind and 56 kbps in mind we're gonna get to all of these numbers here with all of these sample files and I had to go through quite a bit of sample files before I was able to achieve the 6.6 .6 meg file that Camtasia Studio output so if I go into my um, first of all we we wanna make the uh, project at a uniform um, format so Camtasia Studio captures the screenshots at 1080p at 15 frames per second so 15 frames per second is considered multimedia we could leave all the other settings as is but what's important is the 15 frames per second at the 1080p and right here on this drop down you want to make sure that you select the multimedia 15 frames per second in trying to emulate Camtasia's efficiency 6.6 .6. now my standard outputs that that I would get from Sony Vegas with the exact same file this is the um, window, Windows Media outputs here so the smallest file I was able to get with Windows Media was 24.7 megs and the standard file was 48 megs that's a far cry from Camtasia's 6.6 .6 meg mp4 but I'm gonna explain further and you guys will find out also Sony Vegas has the mp4 format where it allows you to use the GPU if you have one and it gave me better results than the Windows media I was able to achieve 19.4 megs and 29.1 meg using the GPU at 2 megabit speed and 4 megabit speed respectively so now we still got to figure out why such a big discrepancy with the Camtasia file coming in at 6.6 .6. let's go back to Sony Vegas 
So on the project properties, we made sure that it's in the Camtasia format of 15 frames per second, 1080p. Cool. Now we go to the render settings. Inside of the uh, render settings, I will show you some of some of the uh, standards. So let's go to Windows Windows Media Video. So uh, Windows Media Video, let's say out of the three 720p's, the mid range would be the, the the five megabits per second 720p. Now let's go inside of the properties this is what's causing you to have a big file it is the audio attributes inside of Windows Windows um, media and the um, mp4s so notice it defaults at 192 kbps per second So now that we identified the 192 kbps bitrate causing the Windows Media videos to to make a high um, file output, that should be this file here, 24 uh, gigabytes, as opposed to the Camtasia Studio 6.6 .6 gigabytes. What you will do is hit the drop down and you could select something like 48 kbps or 64 kbps now the 64 kbps this is what a lot of uh, audio books use so you should be fine with that cool then you click on the video on the video tab and um, inside of the video tab uh, to match Camtasia you might want to select a uh, 15 frames per per second um, output so let's go back to these video files now on the Camtasia let's go into the properties to see what's the uh, details there so it shows you that the um, the bit rate here was 779 832 at 15 frames per second and it shows you the audio is at 53 kbps so that's that's the Camtasia um, one okay and what's incredible about it is it got it from this file so so this is the pure this is the pure capture file that's coming in at one one gigabyte so if we go to the properties of the pure capture file wow It's a pretty big file. Yes, indeed. So back to the uh, Camtasia file. Now we'll go down here. Oh, what is this file that's at the 6.5 megs? That's my imitation Camtasia file at 768 kbps. So let's click on the properties there. And that's a WMI file. But what's the most important number here is the total bitrate and the low audio bitrate. That's what allowed us to, to get this small file size. So looking at these, these file sizes, the secret is the low bitrate for audio and video so video 738 kbps audio 48 kbps this WMI file is 6.5 megabytes let's go to uh, our mp4s and okay this mp4 6.5 megabytes this is an mp4 file format and this was again at uh, 768 kbps at 1080p click on the properties here Let's 
764kbps, 56kbps audio. And sample rate was at 22. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.